We were just kind of exploring like how historic the season was, starting at Crossover at Kinnick where 55,000 plus fans watched the game, ending at the national championship. It kind of worked out really well for us. The book features games and action, obviously, behind the scenes, practices, day in the life stories, um, but it also is showing the growth of women's sports through these stories of high schools and their women's basketball teams. My role in the book was to document Dowling and like high school programs. I was never part of a book process or even like a longer form visual story at all, but I feel like I've grown a lot as a photojournalist since then. Big Tens, uh, NCAAs, we could go into the locker rooms. The like national media outlets don't even get this, this level of access and the fact that a student paper is getting this access is pretty unique to tell the story, but it's also uh, interesting to see this because we're students just like the, the student athletes on the court. There is an interesting line there because obviously they're also my peers, you know, they're students as well. And so I got to become, you know, close friends with them, you know, while I was on the trip and I'm really grateful for that, but you know, I'm also doing a job. People don't get this opportunity and I think it's just awesome that the Daily Iowa and the School of Journalism um, works together to make this happen and uh, the athletic department welcomed us with open, open arms and I'm glad that they did. Being able to get like hands-on experience and real access and actually talking to people and getting out on the field has contributed so much to my experience here. Four years ago I started covering the team and there were cardboard cutouts in the stands. So going there to sold out arena every game was really special for me to experience and I was, you know, super happy to be able to document it and for more people to see, hopefully.